Hi, and welcome to Yellowfin's Tips and Tricks. Today we will be customizing color ranges on our charts. So here we have a simple column table with our demographic, invoiced amount, and athlete counter. And if we navigate to our charts, we can apply some color ranges to the charts. Now color ranges can be used for any type of chart, but for more options, it's better to use a manual selected chart rather than an auto chart. They're just more available options for the color ranges. So first we're just gonna use a horizontal bar chart and drag demographic into our vertical axis, invoiced amount, and for our color, we're going to do an athlete counter. So right now, before dragging a color in, we can see that every bar is a solid blue, but if we drag this counter in, now we have a gradient. So fewer athletes in the demographic will correspond to a lighter or more gray blue, while our maximum will be the darkest blue. So if we want different colors, we have two options. We can select our settings in this color here, or we can go to our series settings and click on color. Here again, click on color. And here we have a metric range option. So right now we're in using auto and we can select any of these color choices or a custom set. So we'll just maybe click this green, gray, and red. So green will correspond to negative values in our data while gray will be more zero and red will be positive. So when I close out of that and update, we see that it's all red. It's different shades of red, but it's all red. And that's because none of our athlete counter numbers are negative. So they're all positive. They all are above zero, just some are closer to zero or more gray. So if we want to change that, we can also do a custom set and choose our max, min, and neutral colors here. Um, so if we wanted our max to be purple. We can see that will that will update, so now we'll have a purple. Let's go back to our settings. And now let's do a range. So we know we're not gonna have any negative numbers in our athlete counter for any demographic, so let's set a lower bound of zero and an upper bound of about 3,000. And let's use the same color set. So our values closer to zero should be red and our highest values closer to 3000 should be purple. And that looks about right. We have an athlete counter of about 2400 at purple and then our lowest at red. Now let's look at our last type of our metric, which is the center or midpoint. And here we can specify a midpoint. So if I say our midpoint is about 700, and we can just, let's go back to a custom set. This means our midpoint, we're defining our midpoint instead of our bound. So our midpoint should be this gray and anything lower than that will be purple and above that will be green. Great. So now we see that way above our midpoint of 700, we have a pretty dark green and then our purple below 700. So those are the three types of settings you have in our metric range, um, auto range and center and you have these settings for your color ranges in the charts. Please remember you can use these color series for all different types of charts as long as you've manually selected those charts in the select chart button.